French government is moving forward with a decision to ban students from wearing the style of dress called an abaya in public schools. And it's drawn debate over where the line is between culture, fashion and religion. An abaya is a type of loose, full-length robe chosen by some Muslim women. France already had a ban on children wearing religious symbols in public schools to uphold its strict brand of secularism, known as laïcité. But it struggled to update guidelines as its Muslim population grows. In 2004, France banned headscarves from schools. The latest move on abayas was met with applause from the country's right, but some academics warn it could be counterproductive especially as it touches on clothing they say is worn for fashion or identity, rather than religion. This is French sociologist Agnès de Feo. I think the government's goal is to start a new controversy that will outrage the entire French society. And that's really a shame, since people are not fully aware of the problem, but they will want to negatively view these young women. Although the abaya is an adolescent form of expression that has no consequence. Most of all, it will hurt Muslims in general. They will once again feel stigmatized because of their religious beliefs, and that's dangerous. France's ban on religious symbols in schools has both supporters and critics across the political spectrum and is a sensitive subject. Some say that to differentiate between fashion and religion could lead to pupils being profiled based on their identity. De Jeannette is studying to be a teacher, so she wasn't comfortable with giving Reuters her last name. But she says she wears the dress at home and doesn't understand why it was banned. It has no distinct religious symbol. I think the abaya has no religious symbol. It's just like wearing a dress, but that dress has a name. It's like wearing a flower printed dress. I wouldn't tell you, you're wearing that dress, you can't be here. It's just like any other clothing.